Hey, this is Chad Ferguson, Learn to Catch Catfish.com. I'm going to show you today a shallow water anchor that I built. And uh, there's a number of different companies that manufacture these. And, uh, you know, I've always wanted some. I've been using PVC pipes and rebar and fence posts and uh, a number of other things over the years. And I never was real happy with them. So I decided I was going to hunt down some materials to build these on my own. This is a three quarter inch pipe fiberglass rod. And all I've done here is taken a, a PVC T-handle and epoxied it here on the end, put me a piece of rope around it, and uh, put some, some rubber grip on it so it'd be easier to hold and, and get a good grip on when I was pulling it in and out of the water. And uh, what you use these for is anchoring out on uh, shallow mud flats or in shallow water. Um, this one is eight foot long. If I get to a situation where I would need anything more than that, then... Uh, I would certainly just use an anchor because I wouldn't want to use these in, in water that was much deeper than uh, you know four or five feet at the most. And um, what you do is just stick these down in the ground. I was going to build some uh, brackets to hold these to mount on my boat, but then about a week ago I got to messing with them after I built them, and I realized that these rod holders, if they're turned outside, will hold them. So I'm going to keep using these for right now and if I decide I want to actually build a bracket then I'll come back and show you what I did there later on but all you have to do to use these is just take them and jam them down in the ground real good and they'll hold your boat in the wind I've got one for the front one for the back and uh, between the two I've been using them for a week now with no issues at all I have used the commercially manufactured models and uh, I can't say honestly that those uh, work any better than these have. And I've been real happy with them so far. Um, no complaints at all whatsoever, and it makes a nice little shallow water anchor. Um, if you want to learn how I built these, figure out where I got all the parts and exactly how much they cost, go to learntocatchcatfish.com, look for the do-it-yourself shallow water anchor, and um, I'll walk you step by step through the process and uh, give you all the links to, to where I got the materials to build this. Until next time, this is Chad Ferguson, learn to catch catfish.com.